there's just a little bit of a gotcha which uh, wasn't obvious as you can see I've taken all the irrigation system off I've just pushed it under the car just to get it out of the way uh, but uh, let me go around this side <coughs> there's a modification <laughs> right so right so as you can see here this is must be the thing that detects if you need to re-irrigate the batteries and it goes in like that right so that sits in there uh -huh. and presumably that hole is drilled it wasn't there before and it's been drilled and you've got another one over here you see I don't think if it's for the irrigation I don't think it matters which ones it goes in not at all, as long as it goes in two of them. And I would think it would be better if it actually went into the extremes. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so there's two of them, and that's a bit of a gotcha. If you can see, I've taken the loom off completely now. I did un undo the uh, little tags. These things are fuses. Oh, I've got some gloves. And they seem to be repelling the acid. You know, not disintegrating too easily gloves I've got are <coughs> these guys there you go bit of free blah 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 non latex and all that says on them where is it up uh, you can't see because it's out of focus classification cat 3 waterproof gloves with low chemical resistance not reflecting duration of protection PPE type examination, oh, well, whatever. Yeah. That's what I got. I don't know how good they are, they just happen to be a box that's just hanging around, which I use because I work on engines. And these are those ones. But they do appear to resist the battery acid, which means you can safely work on them without damaging yourself. And it means you can work on them for a while, otherwise, if you do it with bare hands, they start to tingle quite quickly. And that's where the acid is getting into your skin, and you have to keep going and washing them. <coughs> okay, as you can see, I've got two out, and the rest are yet to go. And obviously, in order to do the job right, I'm going to have to drill holes in those. And I'm going to have to be careful with that. Mind you, if the plastic goes in, it doesn't matter, because obviously it's, it's surrounding it as well. So chemically, it's not going to make the battery any different. Yeah, you just have a little bit sitting in the plates, that's all. Yeah, I'll work out what the hole size is and things, and let you know.